Yo, Justin, bread is, the bread is old, man. Can I check it out? No, don't touch that. No, we're gonna use this. All right. You know why? How we use is, it? This is day old bread. It's starting to get stale a little bit, but it's perfect for making croutons. It is. Yeah. Can like you just buy croutons in the store? Like? No, 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 no. This is way better than a store bought croutons. You know why? Because this is homemade. Everything oh, homemade is way better. So we're gonna make three types of croutons. We're gonna use some Parmesan croutons. Nice. Everybody likes that. Some thyme and herb croutons, just like we cut up in our last in our video before. Yeah, fair enough. And we're gonna spice things up, and we're going to you need some help there. <laughs> We're gonna go in with some hot chili to make some spicy croutons. How's that sound? Sounds good. Let's slice up some bread. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so all we need is some day-old bread. We're just gonna cut it up in about one inch cubes. Actually, the less perfect it is, it more, looks more rustic that way, so. So, pretty straightforward. Nice little cubes. You could even rip this up if you wanted to, to make it even more rustic. But I like to keep it cubed just because it fits better in the pan like that. All right, now all we need to do is just melt some butter. All right guys, we just cut up some herbs and if you wanna see how to cut herbs, then click this link right here on the top left corner. And now we're just gonna go in with some of our butter. This is pretty essential for our recipe for the croutons because we want them nice and crispy. So for our first one, we're gonna go in with some parsley and thyme. And we're gonna go ahead and put this inside the butter, into the butter. So we just wanna melt the butter down and once it's melted down, that's all we need. All right, so now we have our butter mixed with our herbs and it's all melted down and we're gonna nicely pour this all over. So you see that's all nice and green and this will create a nice crust for our croutons. So all we're gonna do is gonna give this a quick toss. This will help get all the edges crispy. So you wanna go in with your hands a little bit. And as always, we want to season our ingredients. So just give a couple of turns of salt and a couple of turns of pepper. That's all we really need for that. Just mix that in again. All right, guys, now we're just going to go ahead and fry this up. We're going to put a little bit of butter in the pan so just it doesn't stick to the bottom. But all you need is just a very small amount, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. So we're gonna put that piece of butter in and we're gonna swirl it around so the bottom is nice and slick. We go with our bread. And so the important part for this is that you wanna get everything spread out and even so every single piece of bread is touching the pan so it gets all nice and crispy. And we're gonna let that cook down. And once it's nice and golden brown on one side, we're gonna start flipping them over and get everything else nice and browned. So, catch back up. Oh, oh. All right, so now these are all nice and crispy. As you can see, these are nice and golden brown. That's all we need. So we're gonna transfer this into a bowl. Now that it's nice and hot, we're just gonna give it one nice little sprinkle of salt. That's all you need. And these are ready. For the next one, I'm just gonna go with some Parmesan. Every single time you need some Parmesan, as usual, you just wanna start grating that out. You just wanna keep grating and grating and grating and grating. No, this footage has not been sped up. That's it. Let's take a look at what I made here. And boom. Easy as that, you just wanna grab but a handful 
of Parmesan right there. Next thing you want to throw is get that butter. Boom. Open that up. Again. Again, low to medium heat. Grab your butter. Boom. Easy as. You just grab your croutons. You want to make them spread out there. Now you just want to let that toast up and kind of just like throughout when it gets kind of hot, you want to sprinkle some Parmesan. So it kind of mixes into the whole thing in there. All right, so it's kind of getting toasted already. If we check a look there, boom, see that, that golden brown right there. So we're going to do the same for all these other ones. Get a couple of them, try to flip them over, push them over, do whatever you need to do. Since we're doing Parmesan, now you can always do a very modest amount, right? You can grab a pinch there and you kind of just like group them all together a little bit and then you kind of just have them come over like that, right? Or what you could also do since, well, it's probably not really great as much is coat them. Now what you're gonna do next is you wanna give everything a nice toss, otherwise everything's gonna to stick together. So you just kinda of wanna get them there. So look at that, look at all that cheesy goodness. Good lord. Then grab a little bit of your pepper and your salt. That doesn't work. <laughs> just wanna Get that in there. Serve that up, easy as, and wow all your guests or yourself. That's Parmesan croutons. All right, for this last one, we're gonna make some spicy, spicy croutons. Good for any occasion. So, stick a butter in, you need a lot of butter. What we're gonna go in with is some chili flakes. Chili flakes, we're gonna go in with some Spanish pimenton, the king of all sauce, Tabasco. You want a good amount of that in there. That's enough of that. <clears throat> now we're just gonna mix everything together. And that's gonna be a really nice and spicy sauce. All right, so we have our spicy butter mix right here and we're gonna go directly into our croutons that are yet to be made. Pour that right over everything. We're just gonna go in with the fork right here, give everything a nice toss since it's pretty hot. Gonna hit it with some salt and some pepper. Go back on the heat with the pan. Just like the other ones, we're gonna coat the bottom of the pan just with a little bit of butter again. Now we're just gonna Lay all of our croutons in and spread them all around evenly. All right, these are all nice and crispy now. Spread this out into a bowl. Gently like that. We're gonna hit this just with a little bit of salt. And now we're gonna just hit it again with some chili powder. Give it that nice little extra, little bit of kick. All you gotta do for that, that's done. Now it wouldn't be a crouton if it wasn't crunchy. So we gotta give it a nice crunch test. All right, let's start it off with one of these. The herb. They do be pretty crunchy though. Pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. Give it about like a like nine, nine and a half crunch. You want the Parmesan? Parmesan, let's go. Crunch test number two. The Parmesan covered ones. Could it be better? Could be better. This one about a six. All right, last but not least. Cheers. Cheers. Chili crunch check. This one definitely has the best flavor. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a sucker for Parmesan or cheese of any kind, but definitely the chili is super nice. 
It's a second to Ooh. me for Parmesan, but <clears throat> yeah, I think I think that the like the basco and everything that kind of melted in kind of created like a nice fluffy texture in the inside. Mm. Has somewhat of a crunch on the outside. Uh, maybe I, I think I got one. Hold on. These for me have the best flavor. I mean. If you let these sit out, probably for like a day, if you like maybe put them in the fridge or something like that, they'll definitely crisp up a little bit even more. But these ones, I would say these are like the best standard ones that you can use for like salads or something. Mm -hmm. These are the ones for if you got cheese loving friends. Also, they'd be really good with like tomato soup. These are these are honestly ones that you could just snack on. Yeah, this is like a snack routine. This can go with anything or go by itself. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to give this a big like and a big comment. And a big subscribe. So, we're out. Thanks for watching Gourmet Grind.